I found my way to what's called the clong. I don't know if I can get through this way. Nope, I can't. Um, so, depending on where you are in the world, a clong is kind of like a canal, uh, like a water, like a waterway system. Um, they run all over Bangkok, and I like to shoot on them just because it's a little bit different from the normal Bangkok street photography. Um, today is going to be point of view, so you're going to be on top of the camera, um, looking at what the camera's looking at, not what I'm looking at. Um, so yeah, we're going to dive in, do some street photography. I like to focus on people, so people is going to be the main thing today. I'm going to find some people to take photos of. Um, yeah. Oh god, walking through a building site. Um, so yeah, just got to cross over the road. And then we'll jump into it, GoPro mode. Let's okay, go. GoPro mode, we are in. Um, first shot is these guys working across the road. I love the colours. Just the first shot, not bad. The next shot um, is probably the worst of the day, but I wanted to include good and bad images just so you could see what I actually did take. Um, it's okay, it's not bad. I like the bush. thought it would have gave some depth to the image, but average. The next shot, I love this shot. This is probably my favourite shot from the whole session. Um, so the boat coming towards me, I wanted to use motion blur. So I dialed in my settings, slow shutter speed, weighted, timed the guard on the boat and got this shot. I love the colour, I love the movement, I'm really happy with this one. This shot, also one of my favourites. So I knew the guy was going to walk across the walkway. I waited for him to go into the triangle where the white wall was behind him because I knew that would silhouette him. Made him stand out in the shot. I really like that shot. It's a nice scene. I'm going to jump in now and say that sometimes you walk along the clong and find that the pathways fell in. So I'll just show you. Oh dear, there's no pathway anymore. Okay, so up and over we go. Uh, I was gonna go that way, but I'm not gonna go that way. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, this shot is okay. I like the scene, um, but obviously I didn't spend much time here. I wish I'd spent a bit longer and framed a nicer shot. It's okay, I don't mind it. This shot is also one of my favourites. Now, I don't know why, I just like the feeling of the shot. And then this one is just funny because she saw me taking it, but she laughed and she was okay with it. Now this shot again is okay. I just like the colour of the burnt grass and the blues in the building. And then these guys working away in the field was pretty cool. I like the shot, nothing special, next. This shot. I'd seen all the grab boxes and then this guy driving through on his motorbike so I wanted that to give like a little bit more depth to the image, nothing special. This shot again, I really like this next one where the kid on the bike, it's a really instinctive shot, I just sort of framed it as quick as I could and took it. It's okay, it works, I like it. And now I like to ask people for portraits in Thailand, it's something that they seem happy to that you do sometimes that's okay i like that shot this shot again one of my favorites so i'm walking through and then i see people coming so I step back go into portrait mode and time this lady right in the middle of the frame so she's in the middle of the frame within the frame i like it it works again using the wall and the railing as a natural frame i get the lala move guy and then i walk a bit further and see the guard now the blue on the guard's shirt and on the back of the guy's jacket made this image stand out for me. Uh, I really like this one, one of my favourites. Something else that happens very often is people actually ask me to take a photograph so I obviously always, I never say no. So this guy was stood in the shadows so I asked him to step forward into the sunlight. Um, would have liked to have spent a little bit more time but I just took this shot and then moved on. Not bad, it's okay.
this for me is what Bangkok is all about. So street vendors, busy people everywhere. I like this shot. And then this guy was at, he was chatting away to me. So I asked if he would let me take a photograph. I wanted his partner in as well, but she really didn't want to be in the shot. So she ducks out the way. Um, I take his portrait. I actually really like this. He was such a happy guy. Then the next one is this lady, but I shot through the middle of this couple. Um, they wondered what I was doing, bless them, but they were happy, they, no problem. And I really like that shot. This one is one of my favorite techniques in street photography is using reflections. I feel like it gives an image a lot of depth. So I try and frame up a shot initially, didn't like it. So then I move closer to the window, wait for the guard to turn to the side because I knew he was going to look at the people. And then I get this shot. I really like this one. This is one of my favorites. Again, I get this one, but I was lucky because I was framing up for the girl sat down. Then the lady walks through the doorway and I take this shot and I really like this. I think it's a really nice street image. This shot is, again, okay. It's more the color palette that caught my eye. So I like the oranges and I like the greens. It works okay, I quite like it. This shot is just me practicing with the Nick on shooting, shooting as fast as possible. So I frame this shot up. It's okay. Again, nothing special. All on a day's walk in Bangkok. Monitor lizard. Okay, so this shot is again one of my favorites. I wanted to get the patch of light on the far bank um, and take quite a vibrant shot with the colors on the boat and the colors on the guard. So I wait. I should have took the shot now. But I waited a little too long, I got this shot, I still really like it, it works. Then the next shot, I was looking at the railing causing a leading line, but unfortunately there's no light in this scene so that the, the image is a bit flat. And then I try to recompose and take something a little bit different, but again, it doesn't really work. It's fine, it's nothing special. The next image, however, is really nice. There is perfect lighting in this scene so the light hits the guy's hand and the back of his neck really love this shot this is one of my favorites again this one all about composition i wanted to frame the post in the middle of the shot with the guy sat at the uh, bus stop i really like that shot again we're back into some reflections as these videos come out you'll see that i love reflections so i wait for this couple to walk into the shot um Wait for the sunlight, and boom, I take this shot. I love this shot. I think this, this one's probably my favorite. Again, working on composition. So the old lady, I wanted to put this post in the middle of the frame with her on the opposite side of her motorbike. Pretty cool. Another portrait now. So I wanted motion blur behind this lady with the traffic whizzing by. So slow shutter speed, wait for this black car to come past, and I get this shot. Really happy with that portrait, I think that's cool. This shot again, pretty cool. The guy working on the cars and I framed it with the, the fence work. So it gives a nice frame, again, a natural frame within the frame. These guys shot this one from the hip. Um, it's okay, nothing special. This one, one of my favorites also. I love, I love food vendors. Food vendors make such great photograph subjects and that works well. Finally, this shot. So, again, all about the light on the far side of the clong. She walks into the middle of it, snap this shot. Very happy. And that's a wrap, guys. Move the stupid map. We're finished. Um, I'm actually quite impressed. I think I got quite a quite a lot of good shots. Everything was the Nikon Z6 with the new Z Z series lens, 50 mil, 1.8. Um, predominantly shot at 2.8. Best, it's my first street photography outing with the Z6, which um, which was quite very different to what I was used to with the Fujifilm, but still very good. Um, the files are just ridiculous. Love them. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. More to come. See you on the next one. Peace.